these guys are only a few days old. But imagine if we could already predict how healthy, productive, what their environmental impact is going to be when they mature into cows in two years' time. Well, that's the power of DNA testing. And that's why we're rolling out a national program across thousands of farms this spring. You're hungry, aren't you? The National Genotyping Programme is the first step to fully map the genetic makeup of Ireland's national herd. It's been embraced by farmers keen to improve the herds they already have and breed the very best stock in the future. It's early morning on the 100 cow dairy farm of Gillian and Neil O'Sullivan in Colligan, County Waterford. Calving has just begun on this farm and so far nine calves have been born. Actually, make that ten. And we're going to get some really good quality food into her as soon as possible. So we're on day five of calving now, and they're just starting to come thick and fast. We've had a couple arrive during the night, and then this little one has just come this morning. Because we're early on, we're still in the honeymoon period. We, we haven't suffered too many sleepless nights, um, and the days are still, you know, fairly manageable. On most dairy farms, calves are removed from the mother shortly after they're born and put under a heat lamp while the cow is taken away from milking. When the calves are born on the farm here, the first thing that they get is colostrum, which is basically first milk from the cow. And why that's so important is that the calves are born without any immunity. And when we give them colostrum, it's loaded with antibodies from the cow. And uh, so we test each batch, and then we, we get that into the calf within the first two hours. This herd is only milked once a day, but the animals still need to produce a lot of milk in order to keep the farm profitable. The O'Sullivans have used genetics in the past to breed these high-yielding cows, but DNA testing is very expensive. So when they heard about the subsidised scheme to genotype the national herd, they were eager to jump on board. This programme is being run by the Irish Cattle Breeders Federation and applies to both dairy and beef cattle, making Ireland a world leader when it comes to the genetic understanding of its entire herd. The ultimate aim is that every bovine animal in Ireland would be genotyped. And this is kind of the first big phase in, in getting there. Why do we want to do this? Why is this important? What genomics does is it, it gives us more information a lot earlier in the animal's lifetime. So instead of having to pick a heifer and then wait three or four or five, six years to see how she does to get the validation of your decision, you can actually look directly at the animal's DNA and see, yeah, she's likely to be more fertile or less fertile. And the same applies for milk solids and animal health, all of the traits that we're interested in. How will, for example, cow fertility affect the carbon footprint of Irish farming? If you take something like fertility, the longer cows take to go back in path, their yield drops off, so they're being Fed. There's lots of inputs, you know, there's nitrogen going on the grass, there's silage being made, there's meal maybe being subsidised as well. And it's going into an animal who's not given anything back. So a few of animals that are more efficient from a fertility point of view, your return in terms of output for your input is obviously a, a lot greater. So in theory, we could have the same output nationally with less cows or have a greater output with the same amount of cows. And so for this little calf born just a few hours ago, Neil is about to start her off on her DNA journey. There will be about two and a half million calves born in Ireland this year, and it's hoped that about 750,000 of them will have their DNA taken, just like this little one. So when you're inserting this into the, the, uh, the calf's ear, a little piece of her ear will end up in this in vial here. Inside this little vial or pot, yeah, and that'll be posted off to the lab but presumably there is benefits for you as a farmer from this, is there? Yeah, so we're seeing, we're seeing potentially huge benefits to us in our own kind of breeding program in identifying what our best animals are so that we're breeding the best animals from our own best animals. If you like, we're getting our most efficient cows. Let's stick it in our, and see how it works. Yeah. Yeah. So, in this little vial here is all the information about the calf. What potential it has to develop into a cow that produces a lot of milk, how rich our milk is going to be, what our carbon footprint is going to be. 
Gillian and Neil are both qualified vets. Up until 2010, they were living and working in Dublin. However, the sudden death of Gillian's brother Vincent brought them home to Waterford and to the farm. Now, four children later, the couple are completely focused on making this farm as productive as possible, but in a way that's more environmentally focused. It's a continuation of a legacy. You know, my father was so into his breeding and so into, into, into being progressive with the herd as well. And he taught us everything that, you know, that, that we knew to, to run the farm. And for us, just continuing our learning and then applying that as well, it's just continuing that legacy of ongoing progression and ongoing improvement all the time. And it's great to see that every spring. What impact will the genotyping that you're doing now have on the carbon footprint of your herd, your, your farm? So the, the long-term impacts are going to be hugely beneficial because we're going to get more accurate information on how productive our animals are and how healthy they are. Okay, so a productive, healthy animal is going to last in our herd far longer than a non-productive, unhealthy animal. And the animal that lasts in our herd longer by definition has a lower carbon footprint than one that needs to be replaced quite quickly. So we'd see a huge positive impact from, from that point of view. The National Genotyping Programme will run for five years and will cost just over 40 million euro. As I was leaving, calf number 11 was making her way into the world. Like her sister, she will also be DNA sampled and the results will mean her entire life will be mapped out for her either on this farm or the next. <laughs>